I'm Gunnar Chillette with Head Snaps and Headgear, and today I'm here with four time Iowa High School state champion, Hawkeye All American, and now longtime head coach of the Boise State Broncos, Coach Greg Randall. Thank you for joining us, Coach. Thank you for having me. You and Jim Zaleski go way back to your Iowa days. And in each tournament, you kind of seem to get into it a little bit. And as we prepare for the border war, it made me wonder, is that a real rivalry or just a friendly rivalry? Well, it's kind of a love-hate rivalry. And I guess we love each other when we're not competing against each other and we kind of hate each other when we are competing against each other. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, it's not made up. Sometimes I go after him and sometimes he goes after me. But that's that's the nature of the business, and I think it's uh, fans might like it, and they might not like it. But when I'm here, they uh, they don't like it. But uh, you know, most of the times uh, they tell me to sit down. You said it's the nature is the nature of the business. That's uh, how I think of it. Well, anytime uh, you get uh, two intense coaches going at it, you got to stick up for your own guy. And I know uh, Zaleski will stick up for his guy, and I know I'm going to stick up for my guy. My family and I have driven through Boise on our way to Western Regionals, and it seems like it's tucked away a little bit. Has that ever affected you in getting top recruits or top programs to come to Boise? Yeah, it, uh, it, it's tough to get uh, you know a, a Big Ten team out there. Uh, they got to work around their schedule, and but we're kind of isolated out in the middle of nowhere where. Uh, you know the closest Division One program is Utah, uh, Utah Valley, and they're they're six hours away. And the next one's uh, Corvallis, Oregon, right here, and they're we're eight hours away. So a lot of teams uh, just aren't willing to come out this far and just wrestle once. So every once in a while we'll get it, we'll get a big or uh, a big team, a Big Ten team out or a Big Twelve team out, but they always won like a double duel. You have an absolute stud and returning Pac-12 champion, um, Gio Martinez. Are there any other Bronco wrestlers we should look out for to make an impact at the Pac-12 tournament? Well, that's a good question because we do have uh, our 157-pounder, Chris Castillo. Uh, right now he's ranked second in the Pac-12, and tomorrow he's going to be wrestling the number one ranked wrestler. So that's a, also a really big match for us. And Chris Castillo is a, is a redshirt senior and hasn't made it to the NCAA tournament. So this is a big match for him. Uh, it's, it's for the number one seed going into the, in, into the Pac-12 tournament. So we're, we're going to need that one. Great stuff, Coach. That's all for this installment of Head Snaps and Headgear. I'd like to thank my guest, Coach Greg Randall. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Thanks for having me. I'm Gunnar Gillette telling you to snap that head and throw on some headgear. See you next time. Here comes Overtime, brought to you by Wrestleology. Get your Wrestleology gear at Wrestleology.net. Are you ready, Coach? I'm ready. Blue turf, cool or not? Not. Corn on the cob or mashed potatoes? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, I'm going to have to go with corn on the cob because I'm from Iowa. Is it true that you're the originator of taking your opponent down, letting him up, and taking him down again? I would like to believe so, yes. Great job, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Wrestleology! We call that wrestler swag. To us, that's wrestler swag. <laughs> so I need all the people with wrestler swag. Step up on the mat. Get down.